Alright guys, welcome back to another video and I haven't made a Black Ops 3 video in a while and as you can see by that title, I will be showing you guys how to practice quick scoping in Black Ops 3 in my way. Alright, in my way. That's a disclaimer right there. If you're here for T. Martin's way, I don't even know if it quick scopes. I don't know. Uh, I mean like Phase Rain's way, if you want to know how to, to quick scope like a Phase member, don't come here, okay? This is my way. This is basically how to quick scope. For noobs, I mean, I'm a noob. I mean, I've only started quick scoping seriously, like, uh, in Black Ops 2 during those days. But then I've I've been on and off and all that kind of stuff. I don't want to get into that. Um, I'll probably get into that different kind of video. But so, uh, yes, yeah, it's basically my way and and um, practicing. So, what I like to do, okay, if you want to actually practice quick scoping, is um to practice with a class that you already have as your actual actual online class. So, for example, right. Um, public match, create a class, right? Um, for example, my locust, right? Oh, it's only level three. I have no attachments, no nothing. I don't like the suppressor, so I'm probably not going to do that. You should practice with an exact class that you have on the online. Practice with it in the custom games. That's what I like to do. Um, it just really does help me a lot, you know, just to prepare for the online games. I also, um, you know, uh, yeah, if you want to practice on also doing like, uh, putting on the uh, suppressor like I don't like doing that but um, for example if you want to practice with suppressor put it on practice with it uh, but yeah that's what I like to do um, but this is exactly identical pretty sure as my online class and I like to practice with it during um, um, the bot but that's what I usually do but uh, I do recommend that it does you know I don't know it just helps me out a lot just getting comfortable with the class but then once I for example get this right I get the rapid fire the bliss CPU blessing ballistic CPU and the FMJ and then I do get you know I just keep these the same but if I do get these attachments I will you know if I have this exact class on as an, on an online class I will copy it down on this cost this custom games class and I will practice with it um it just gets you comfortable with the class and it really does help you a lot. You don't really realize it. You don't really, you know, might not think that it might help you, but it does, okay? But if you don't want to do it like this, then, I mean, do whatever. Use the most OP sniping class you want and practice sniping like that. But I usually just replicate an online class that I'm, you know, trying to work on and I duplicate it and put it out to here. And that's why I practice with that sniping class or sniping in general. So for the game rules, you're going to want to put the time limit up to unlimited because you're probably probably gonna take a long time on killing um unless you're a pro um you can do it you can time yourself you can challenge yourself kill like 30 get 30 points in uh three minutes you know that that'll be a challenge um so i usually go to unlimited though you know so because i always take my time um and i always tend to quick quick i mean not quick scope but um trick shot the last kill so um, score limit, you can do whatever you want, but I like to go 70. Um, general, you want to go to minimap, you can either go normal just to challenge yourself, or you can go to constant or sweeping, doesn't matter. Sweeping is alright, but at constants, it's always there. You always see the yellow dot there, but, you know, if you want to challenge yourself, go to normal. Alright, so for the health, I like to keep it to 100, just so it's like kind of like in the game, in an actual online game, unless you do have kinetic armor. I believe it's increased, I don't know by how much, if you do know, comment down below. But all I know it's, it takes a long time to kill someone with a kinetic armor activated. But without it, it'll be the same thing as this. Uh, health 100%. So, I mean, you can minuscule it. But um, I usually only do this when I am 1v1ing someone. And I don't want to, you know, do, deal with those hit markers and that kind of stuff. Especially with the locust. Alright, so for the bots, guys, you gotta go to Recute. Or actually, you can go to Veteran if you want. If you want to challenge yourself. But I like to go to Recute because I am not the best. Um, game size, so that you would have eight bots in there. Um, I usually like to go eight. Like, like this, that's too much. Okay, depending on the map, I like to go eight. Um, but I usually go Nuke Town because that's the most common map I always go on. And uh, but you can change it up a bit too if you want to practice on other maps. So yeah, so after all those settings and fixing everything up, start the game and just start quick scoping. Um, this is what I usually do. I'm practicing quick scoping. Alright, so after you spawn, right, um, you just play, you just play, yep, you just, yep, 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 you just, that, this is why I need practice. If you guys did enjoy it, please leave a like, 
Um, I really do appreciate it, guys. Leave a uh, leave more suggestions on uh, sniping tips too, if you do have any more. You know, I really do appreciate it if you did comment down more tips. Um, you might also help out other people too, not just me. Yeah, guys. So if you guys did enjoy it, like I said, please leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. They're done.